everyone, my name is Tawak from Tenet Electronics. Today I'll be taking you through some of the components that we have and I'll be giving you a brief explanation of all the components. Hello everyone, today we'll be seeing about a typical motor driver and that is L290D, a typical motor driver IC. We will just see what is the function of this L290D typical motor driver. This L293D typical motor driver or it can be called a motor driver IC which allows DC motor to drive on either direction. So l 293 is a 16 pin IC as you can see here. So it has 16 pins which can control a set of two DC motors simultaneously in any direction. It means we can control two DC motors with a single IC that is L293 IC. This L293 can drive small and quite big motors as well. And this works on the concept of an H-bridge. The H-bridge is a circuit which allows the voltage to be flown in either direction. And we know that the voltage need to change its direction for being able to rotate the motor in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Hence a H-bridge IC are ideal for driving a DC motor. So we use the concept of H-bridge to drive this motor DC. In a single L293 OZ there are two H-bridge circuit inside the IC which can rotate two DC motors independently. So due to its size it is used for robotic applications for controlling DC motors. So here we can see the first pin and the ninth pin are the enable pins. Okay, So here the first pin and on the other side the ninth pin over here so these two are the pins for being able to drive the motor. So these two pins need to be high, that is pin 1 and pin 9 need to be high. For driving the motor with left hedge bridge, we need to enable the pin 1 to high. And for the right bridge or the right hedge bridge, we need to make the ninth pin as high. If either one of them, the first pin or the ninth pin goes low, the corresponding motor also becomes low. So this works as like a switch. If you want to make them, that is the one first pin and the ninth pin both to high, we can just give the 5 volt supply directly to this pin 1 and pin 9 and the corresponding motors will start working. Now we will see a simple demonstration of l 293 d and see how the two motors work simultaneously with a single IC. So I'll be just showing you a similar a demonstration of how this L293D controls these motors and makes them to work in two different directions that is one in the clockwise direction and other in the anti-clockwise direction. So here we have given the connection. This is the L293D and I have the two motors connected. So the logic that works for this L23, L293D IC is that the one pin that is the second and the seventh pin will be connected to one of the motors. So second is logic one, that is the second pin, and seventh pin will be logic zero. So that will work in the clockwise direction. And the other side we have, that is the tenth pin will be logic zero, and the fifteenth pin will be logic one. So this makes the motor work in the anti-clockwise direction. So we'll just, we'll just see how these motors work in both the directions. So I'll be just switching it on. And we'll just see how this works. So before that I switch on this, I need to say that pin 1 and pin 9 need to be enabled high to make these two motors working. So if either one of them is not enabled high, the corresponding motors will not be working. So this has been enabled high. So now we'll just see the functioning of the motor. So I'll just go in here. So this motor is running and you can see the second motor also running here. Okay, so let me just show you. So this works in the clockwise direction and this one you can see runs in the anti-clockwise direction. So we are giving a 5 volt regulated supply from that we get 
the supply to these motors and it is working at the clockwise and anti-clockwise simultaneously. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries or if you have any doubts, you can log on to www.tenetech.com or you can drop a mail to info at tenetech.com. Thank you.